like an apple based video since like exactly a year ago so hi what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is kim if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below it's a fun time around here you normally switch out like my apple products like every two to three years so i've owned let me get it sorry that this room's a mess i'm currently packing i've owned the iphone xs max for i think four years now i own the gold or rose gold one i think it's Oh shit, my camera broke. I had to get a new camera as well. I don't really know what the name of this phone is. I think it's the rose gold, I want to say. I don't even know if there is a rose gold. This was like the first phone to not have the thing, the little button. And I've owned it for quite some time and I'm graduating college next week. I'm all done with classes. My mom's kind enough to upgrade my phone. So I will be getting the iPhone 12. Pro Max. It's so weird not gonna be saying excess mana. I think I'm gonna get the silver one. I've already purchased a case for it. So I'm very excited. I also, for shits and giggles, I guess I'll show you guys. So I got three air tags because I am going somewhere and I just want to be able to be safe about everything. So I did get three of the air tags and I'm going to be pairing those once I'm back home from the store because I do believe you need to even have like the newest update for your phone to pair them. So I was like, I'm not going to do it with my old phone when I already know I'm getting a new phone. So this is the case that I got. They unfortunately didn't have my cantaloupe that I really wanted, but I do like this pink as well so it's fine so got this and i'm so excited around like 10 o'clock which is around 40 ish minutes i'm gonna head over to at&t which is our carrier to get the new phone and i'm so excited i just love new tech i love i'm so excited for the camera because like obviously like my vlogging camera is really really big and where i'm going i'm not gonna be able to bring my camera everywhere when i say where i'm going i'm going on like a college honeymoon that's what i mean when i say i'm going somewhere and like when i say like i have like my suitcase everywhere i have no idea if i'm going to be able to take the phone home because my mom wants all of her stuff transferred to her phone from from her phone to this phone if she wants my phone so i have no idea how that's gonna work. I can't unbox it, I'm sorry. I'll just do a what's on my iPhone and like re-unbox it, I guess I could do. I don't know yet, but I just thought I should let you guys know that it's not gonna be like with the wrap or like anything. Hopefully I'll be able to, but I just like have no idea. I have no idea how this is gonna pan out. So I just thought I should let you guys know and I'll talk to you guys when I'm in the car with my mom. Alrighty y'all, just kidding. I'm meeting my mom at at and So I'm gonna go now. All right, let's go. I guess I'm meeting my mom instead, as I've already said, so I'm just gonna play some tunes. I'm gonna drive now. Ah! I love getting new Apple products, and I need to stop sticking out my tongue. Alrighty, mates, I'm here. Woo! -hoo! Brought my own case, just in case. Hopefully we get someone good, because I hate the people that like are annoying. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I got the new phone. And we actually just set up everything in there because my mom is taking my new phone So I honestly could have just unboxed the phone at home, but that's okay. Whatever I can show you guys like all the boxes and everything But my mom's gonna take over this phone, but I just wanted to show you guys that I did get the phone and she's so pretty ah! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her. Hey, she's a Mona Lisa Okay guys, we're back home. I got everything kind of laid out of what we have here from Apple. This is everything that happened within the past two days. We got the new phone, case, charging outlet, and we're gonna pair the AirTags. And then I'm also going to do a what's on my iPhone since my iPhone was already unboxed, but I can show, still show you everything that was in the box and you're still gonna get the AirTag unboxing. This was already put on and then we can do the USB unboxing as well. So this is when I wish I didn't sell my G7X Mark II because then you guys can see everything from down here. We'll be I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So this is the new iPhone box. She's gorgeous. I've never seen a black iPhone box. So this is really, really exciting. So we're just gonna open her up. So this is what the inside ooh, looks like. This was for removing the SIM card. So I'm keeping this for my mom so that she can put her SIM card in mine. And then obviously the little instructions go here and everything is in here. 
as you guys can see the cute little apple sticker so cute we love that this iphone does not come with a little usb block this is actually a usc i believe this is called so again this is just the charger that it comes with it just didn't come with the block so that's okay so that was everything in the box as well as the iphone so i'm going to take off the case actually so that i can show you guys the back of it because it is gorgeous so this is what the phone looks like up close she is so pretty absolutely gorgeous i love how heavy it is and i love the square-ish rectangle sides i think it's gorgeous it really reminds me of the iphone 5 i believe it was and i just absolutely adore it and then i obviously just got this case with it i would have gotten a charging case but they unfortunately do not have them and they say that this phone is like the best for charging so that's fine whatever so that's what the iphone looks like and that's everything in the box i wish i unboxed it for you guys i'm sorry <laughs> so next up i'm going to show you guys the usb that we got or why do i keep saying usb i mean the power adapter so i guess i don't really know any specs of everything but i do know that this will charge your phone super duper fast it's very comparable to the ipad charger however the ipad charger i learned is only 18 watts so this phone will be charged super fast i love the apple packaging this is the block itself super pretty oh yes it comes with a little plastic so i can do a little satisfying pull off of the plastic so let me get up close for you guys because i know you guys came for this I hope that was satisfying. So now I'm just gonna pair what came in the iPhone box. This is the part that goes in the little block. So we'll do that. So that's in, and then this is obviously where the iPhone goes. That's pretty much the charging and obviously the iPhone unboxing. Again, I'm sorry for not being able to fully unbox the iPhone. The guy kind of just did it for me at AT&T because we thought we were gonna do the total tran transfer from my mom's phone to this phone so we kind of just like figured we'd do it all there if you guys didn't know i am going somewhere very fun so it does entail a lot of luggage and i'm very crazy about knowing where everything is like i love the find my iphone feature i love being able to like track my devices so i figured like i lose everything so i was like i need to get these air tags for our thing coming up so i'm just gonna unbox these for you guys and pair them with my brand new iPhone. Let's unbox these air tags. Guys, I'm so dumb. There's a little green thingy right there to tell you where to even pull it. This is everything that it comes with. Just this little pamphlet another little pamphlet another little pamphlet okay and then here is the air tag oh there she is she's really tiny i can connect this to both my ipad and my iphone so that's really cool hold near device and follow on screen instructions Did you hear that? Okay, so it just says it's updating Apple ID settings. So we're gonna do keys. It says enable additional AirTag features. Start AirTag to your Apple ID. Cameron's keys. Oh my gosh, this is sick. So it's saying right now, wow, this is not precision finding, play sound. So find your AirTag by playing a sound from your iPhone. And then there's literally directions. Oh my God, this is sick. Okay, so now we're going to set up all the other ones. So I'm just gonna put this with where I want it to be. This is sick. Now I'm gonna hide my keys and then we're gonna find them. Okay, so it's literally showing me like 10 feet, 9 feet, 8 feet to my left. Oh my gosh. That is sick. And then you can also set off a sound right here. And you can hear it right there. And then you can also do a flashlight. Oh, oh, that's cool.
Okay guys, so that's pretty much all the unboxings I have for you today. But now we're gonna do a what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm so excited. I got it in the silver and I have no idea what the gigabytes are. Give me one second. I have 128 gigabytes. So now I'm just gonna screen record and put everything right over here. So this is my screen saver. It's me and my friend Sam and her and I just did graduation pictures and they're so cute. But so anyway, this is my little home screen I guess you can say I just have the app widget I'll link a video down below on how I did it I just followed um, my friend Julia K Chris videos on how to do it because she knows how to do literally everything so I just have the top one as my calendar just so I can see like what day of the week it is and what day it is and then I just have the time of the sunset because I always want to know and then so over here I just have my photos app my camera app and I'm so excited about this new like wide angle lens. I tried it out at Sephora today and I'm so excited. The quality is just unreal. It's so good. I'm just so excited about everything about this phone. So that's my camera. My next one is just my finance app. I'm not gonna go into that, but I just like to have all my banking stuff. And then I just have my navigation. So I just have like meter up, my maps, my Park Boston, Uber. I do have the Park Boston and the meter up because I do or it used to live in Boston. I still kind of do. Technically, my name's still on a lease. It's just I've been with my parents. My mom just had a surgery, so I've been home for that. And obviously, I'm leaving for somewhere special, so I obviously want to spend time with my parents as much as I possibly can. And then Uber, again, just because I lived in Boston. And before I got my car in Boston, registered in Boston, it's like a whole process getting your car registered. So I have Uber because freshman year, sophomore year, Ubering to parties and all that fun stuff. Then I just have my clock app. I have all of my alarms. I am a psycho path with my alarms okay I had my internship oh my god I guess I can delete all this because I don't I'm done with classes <gasps> oh my god that's sad so that's just that for my alarms and then I just have my productivity where I just have my gmail and my notes all of my business emails are on that gmail so so anyway next up is my music app I have spotify but this is actually my sister's account so I don't really go on here all that much because it's my sister's. And then I just have my SoundCloud. I love SoundCloud. I might need to re-sign in. Yeah, I knew it. Um, so I'll do that later, but I love SoundCloud because I really wanted to be a spin instructor at one point. So I had SoundCloud and I just think they have the best remixes. Then I just have my Apple Music. I love Apple Music. It's my favorite. It's my preferred way of listening to music. Then I just have all of my playlists on here. I believe they are public, so you guys can go check them out. I have a bunch of cool music and then I obviously just have podcasts. My favorite podcasts entail Gals on the Go and Call Her Daddy. Those are my favorite. And then so this is just like my photo and video when really it's just like my fun apps. I need to change the name of that, whatever. But so I just have Snapchat, love Snapchat, and my Snapchat looks so much cooler now because when I had the iPhone um, 10 XS Max, it just looked really weird, but you know, whatever. And then I also just have my Instagram. Ah, I love graduation pictures. I have so many graduation pictures to post, guys. It's not even funny. Um, I was selling my Frankies. Just told you guys about my new iPhone. And then so I'm trying to post more. And now that I have a new phone, I obviously will be posting more. But this is my Instagram. If you guys want to go follow me, it's just at Cameron underscore Hatsat. Um, these are some of my posts. Again, I'm so bad at posting right now. But, you know, I try. I hate Twitter, so I'm not going to go on Twitter. And then I just have TikTok. Um, my username is at CamiJewel101. I just make like Dana Life videos or like nail videos. And then I had one stock TikTok go viral. So those are like my fun time apps. And then I just have a separate app for YouTube because YouTube Studio is where I can see how much revenue I'm making, how my video's doing. I can customize thumbnails. I can do my captions. Pretty much everything I do on my laptop on the go. So that's a must have for me. And then I obviously just have my YouTube app. I love, ooh, I love Hannah Maloche. So I want to save that for a watch later. This is just my channel. Go watch my other videos if you haven't already. Um, I thought that week in my life would do much better, but that's okay. So next up we just have this kind of everything app, kind of where like I order stuff from app. Um, so I have Lululemon, Cycle Bar, which is just like where I can take my spin classes. I totally should do a ride tonight. So, oh, oh my gosh, this is a new girl's um, first time riding. So actually I will, oh God, I hate, this is 
sidebar. I want to be supportive. 7 to 7.45, am I doing anything tonight? We're going to do it because I just have nails at 3. So we'll do that. Why not? Why not? Because I'm leaving soon. So that's just kind of where I book all my spin classes. I then have Pinterest. This is where I have all of my nail ideas, all of my hair ideas, my graduation picture ideas, my wedding dress ideas, wedding venues, outfits, house, all that fun stuff. Then I just have Poshmark. I don't really use Poshmark. I have Be Good, and that's just like one of my favorite like healthy restaurants. And then I have The Handlebar, which is another spin studio that I used to go to um, in Boston. So that was a fun time. And then I just have my Starbucks app. I love my Starbucks. So good. But now that I have two Nespresso's now, actually, I really do not need that. Then I just have my Amazon app. Um, she is always listening. So I just have that so like I can change like pictures and everything. And then I have Curtsy. I love Curtsy. I've been selling on Curtsy for a while now. Really, really good. I love Curtsy. I've been selling on it for a while now. I'm a fast responder and a quick shipper and I have 15 ratings of five stars. So definitely go shop my Curtsy guys. I will be gone for a month though. So I don't count on me shipping anything out right now unless you literally do it the day that this video goes up so just to buy the way and then I also just have an Amazon app where I can just order from Amazon obviously I have my soul cycle app which I haven't used in a while because I actually prefer like smaller chains of spin rather than soul cycle I think it was just like overhyped um I do love soul cycle it's just I prefer other spin studios over it and then I just have my Urban Outfitters app. This is just so I can get rewards because Urban Outfitters is 100% overpriced. I have my Sephora app where I can just, you know, order on the go. Love me Sephora. And then I have Uber Eats, which I actually hate right now because honestly, Uber has just been so overpriced. Sometimes Uber won't even show up. My boyfriend, when he goes to like Encore into the casino, when he orders an Uber, they like sometimes don't even show up. And then I have my Sweet Green app. I love love sweet green this is like my favorite salad place it's like my go it's like my go-to love that and then i obviously just have my nespresso um so that's just my nespresso that's kind of where i just order all of my nespresso stuff um i have the original nespresso it's like i don't even know what the name of the machine is it is actually the latissima that's the one i have that's the new Nespresso that I have. And then I also have the Nespresso Virtuo Plus. And then I just order all of my capsules on this app. It's very convenient and Nespresso ships very quick. Then I just have Chipotle. Love Chipotle. And then I just have Panera Bread because I love their chicken noodle soup. And then guys, I'm going to cry. I don't need this app anymore. I'm going to wait though until I actually graduate, which is on the 22nd, to delete this app because this is such a sad, 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 sad moment. And I'm not going to do it yet. Maybe I'll do it in an upcoming vlog so right here I just have my Outlook email I have my Emmanuel little app where it just tells me what like lunch is for that day but I've been in an off-campus apartment so I just buy my own food well my mom thank you does my grocery shopping <laughs> and then I just have my canvas app where I can see like all my homework all my grades I took um, my senior seminar my internet marketing my internship course my media theory only took four courses so that was fun and then I just have my HP smart which is my printing app duo mobile which is like a security app and I have the app zoom obviously for when I'm on the go and then I just have my utilities calculators and settings Next up, we have my photo and video. We have Tezza. This is my favorite app to edit on. This is, you guys get a sneak peek of this photo. So my favorite filters are, as of right now, pop, but only for my graduation pictures. I love blush and vintage has been my go-to for pretty much the longest time ever. So that's that. Um, I really love this app. You have so many different options to like edit. You can do like brightness. You can also add like lighting. You can also add the glitter. Like so cute. Like this, this app is genuinely the best app and I do pay for it. I just think it's really worth it. And then I have over, this is where I would use to edit my thumbnails, but now I'm on to pink monkey. And then I have Facetune. We all do it, okay? I don't want to hear it. 
Um, so I will sometimes, like, if I'm feeling really insecure about a pimple, I'll just, like, use the smoothing feature. And then sometimes I'll whiten my teeth, depending on the lighting, and then also to whiten the background of my thumbnails. So that's for Facetune. And then I also use Visco. I love Face Visco. Posted a lot of my graduation pictures here, so definitely go check them out. Um, my username's at Cameron Jewel. Love Visco with my whole entire life so fun and then I also have unfold which is how I do my sneak peeks of my stories absolutely adore unfold it's just the best for Instagram stories then I just have this random Apple section where I can use translate iTunes store app store then I just have find my iPhone contacts another folder with wallet and health and then another I need to like rename all these this is kind of like spur of the moment video watch with fitness me and my sister compete against each other actually which is really fun um so yeah and I'll I think I'll beat her today actually oh actually my sister's ahead of me today so but after spin we'll be fine and then I just have a few games on my phone for when I'm super duper bored. I have Helix Jump, Fun Run, Stack Ball, Duel, and Flappy Dunk. Love that. And then for productivity, I just have all these random apps in here. And then this is actually where I can see my room. And I have like a little camera in my room as well and a few other spots in my apartment because Boston isn't the safest city in the world. And I also have another widget right here which just shows like the calendar again and then it'll show like events. When I have events but I haven't had any so this is kind of just like a mess right now but so headspace I actually wanted to delete so I don't really want that because it costs money then I just have the Steve Madden um, app which I'm gonna move over here to the fun little guy and this needs to move I hate the widget sometimes because it just gets in the way. And then I have Pi, which is an investing app that my boyfriend forced me to get. But so also my lock, my like little home screen thing is off of Pinterest, by the way, if you guys wanted to get it. And then over here, as for like all those fun stuff, I just have my Apple Watch connected, calendar, um, weather, music, all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much everything on my iPhone, guys. And then I have my call safari and messages on the bottom so that's pretty much everything on my new iphone 12 pro max i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below what phone you have or what other device that you have and let me know if you guys have any of the same apps and let me know if you guys would want a how i edit my pictures type video so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys